Hey everyone, this is Nitro. So people keep asking how I managed to have Trinity Crystals or Trinity Vouchers to draw on banners despite having never purchased uh, any crystals in general. So I thought I would do this video to talk about how I managed to do this. So let's begin by talking about all the ways you can earn crystals every week and the amount you get every week as a result of this. And I'm going to start by covering the three different arenas. First will be the regular arena. Now, in regular arena, you get five battles every day. From the five battles, if you manage to get 12 flags, which is winning four times in the gold battles, or winning four, uh, three times gold battle, one silver and one bronze, that both gets you 12 points, you will get five Trinity Crystals here and 10 more Trinity Crystals here. So that's 15 Trinity Crystals every day. In addition to that, as long as you're over 1900 points, you get 20 Trinity Crystals every day. In other words, this adds up to 35 Trinity Crystals per day and over the course of a week, that's 245 Trinity Crystals. Second will be World Arena. So, World Arena has, uh, has a daily reward, just like regular Arena. I'm usually either in Silver or Gold 3. So Silver 1 or Gold 3, which gets me either 12 or 14 Trinity Crystals every day, right? You get 20 at Langrisser, but that's not where I'm at. So let's say I average out to 13 Trinity like, I don't know. So this is the amount of Trinity Crystals I get every day from World Arena. In addition to that, you get a weekly reward. If you're in the top 10, you get 200. If you're below, if you're in the top 100, you get 170. The interesting thing here is, at least on my server, Rocky Valley, you don't need that many points to be in the top 100. If we look right now, the 100th player only has 1114 points. And that is barely in bronze. Just very barely in bronze too. So it's not hard to get into the top 100 to get that additional 170. Now with that said, I'm usually in the top 10. Uh, so that gives me another 200 per week. So, in addition to that, from your victories in the week, as long as you get 5 victories, you also get Trinity Crystals. So your first victory gives 20, your third victory gives 30, and your fifth victory gives 50. So if you do 5 victories per week from World Arena, you're going to get 100 Trinity Crystals here, probably 200, 170 to 200 here, and then whatever uh, tier you're at, times seven. In my case, I get around 384 to 398 from the World Arena. The absolute maximum you can get here is 20 times seven, which is 140, plus 100 from these, so 240, and then plus 200, so 440. So that's the absolute maximum you can get from World Arena. I get around, I would say 384 to 398 would be my value. So 384 if I just stay in Silver 1, 398 if I get into Gold 3 right on Monday. Usually it's somewhere in between. All right, next. The final, uh, the final arena is Apex Arena. And from Apex Arena, the first victory every week gives you 50. And then you also get a one-time tier reward every week, depending on what uh, tier you're at. The rewards start in Silver 3. I'm in Silver 1, so I get 70. If you're in Langrisser, you get 150. So in my case, it's 70 plus 50, which is equal to 120 crystals from Apex Arena every week. The maximum, of course, would be 150 plus 50, which is 200. 
continuing on, we'll, we'll jump into the secret realm. And from the secret realm, the only way you can get Trinity Crystals every week here is from Timeless Trials. Timeless Trials, it's just how far you clear, right? The ulti Every ultimate trial gives some crystals, except for the SSS trial. So if you fully clear it up to just SS level, you don't even do the SSS levels, you get a total of, I think, 590. Let's see. So there's one, okay. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, rewards that give 20. So that's 140. 140 plus 100 is 240. 240 plus 300, uh, 540. 540 plus 50, 590. So in total, there's 590 Trinity Crystals in Timeless Trials every week. Next, we'll talk about the Guild Wars event. So my guild clears the Purgatory difficulty twice every week. And from Purgatory, you get 30 crystals from the level 60 stronghold and 20 crystals from the level 58 stronghold. So that's 50 crystals for each clear. So there's two clears, which means another 100 Trinity crystals. Last but not least, the very final way that you get Trinity Crystals every week is from the daily mission, the daily grind. As long as you finish all the daily missions every day, excluding the consuming stamina in Secret Realm, you get 30 Trinity Crystals. So that's 7 times 30, that's another 210 Trinity Crystals. So it adds up to quite a bit, doesn't it? Now, in addition to these methods, there's one time, uh, there's a lot of one time Trinity Crystals and Trinity Vouchers. And these ones come from Gate of Fates as well as Time Rift. So, from Gate of Fates, I'm just going to open up a random character like Leon. If you do there, if you get all the stars, you'll get Trinity Crystals here. And every hero's mission generally has feats to do. And the feats usually give Trinity Crystals and Vouchers. Not every feat is Trinity Crystals and Vouchers, but it does add up to, to quite a bit, right? If, let's say, Leon, in his case, he has seven missions. And almost every mission has at least one feat that gives 20 uh, crystals. <laughs> And in addition to that, um, the last mission generally gives you two, and the first mission almost always gives you, you, you generally get three vouchers and at least a hundred crystals from the feats in general. And in addition to that, I'm just going to open up a hero that I have not really upgraded yet. But, so let's open Sigma. From unlocking the bonds of a hero, there's 15, 15, 30, 30, and 45, which is 135 crystals from bond unlocks. And finally, from the completion, there's 30, then 60, then 90, right? So if you get all the stars, you get 30 plus 60 plus 90, which is 180 Trinity Crystals. So 180 plus 135 is a guaranteed 315 Trinity Crystals. You probably get another 100 Crystals or so from the, uh, from the feats. And then prob and around, and I think three Trinity Vouchers, right? So you're looking at 415 Trinity Crystals and three Vouchers per hero. Similarly, Time Rift is pretty much the same, right? Every map in Time Rift has feats that can give Trinity Crystals potentially, or Trinity Vouchers or whatever. Uh, and completing these, getting all the stars 
gives you Trinity Crystals, as I recall. So there's lots of free Trinity Crystals from doing feats and doing getting all the stars. It just really adds up very rapidly. Of course, these are all one-time things. And the final one-time method of getting Trinity Crystals is from events, these limited time events. For example, Everdark Contract, if I bring up the point rewards, you can see there's Trinity, there's occasionally Trinity Crystals, Trinity Vouchers that you can get. And every event usually gives some Trinity Crystals and some Trinity Vouchers, among other rewards, of course. So there you go. So that's all the ways you can get Trinity Crystals and Trinity Vouchers. So to just sum it up, I created a little, I guess, uh, table to show this information. So once more, regular arena is worth 245. World arena is worth a maximum of 440. I get around 384 to 398. Apex arena is worth a max of 200. I get 120. Timeless trials is basically a guaranteed 590. Daily world events. I actually forgot to talk about the daily world events, but what I'm talking about is the events the world event that can give you Trinity Crystals or Trinity Vouchers. And this world event usually happens every day. And you can get 20, 30, or 50 Trinity Crystals or a Trinity Voucher from it. On average, I would estimate you get around 200 per week in total. This is just an estimate. Let's say you get, I don't know, you get, let's say, 5 20s and 150 or one Trinity Voucher and then, then six twenties or whatever. It generally adds up to roughly 200 on average. Guild Wars is 100. The Daily Mission is 210 because you get 30 every day. So in total, my uh, Trinity Crystal count every week is roughly 1849. The absolute maximum is 1985, close to 2000. So if you divide 1849 by 88 though, that's basically 21 Trinity vouchers per week that I'm getting. So it adds up very rapidly, right? In the course of a month, if you multiply 21 by eight, sorry, 21 by four, because there's four weeks in a month, you get a total of 84 Trinity vouchers per month. 84 Trinity vouchers is pretty, it allows you to draw for heroes as needed. And once again, this is before you do all your Gate of Fates, right? You do your Time Rifts and your events. And of course, the free Trinity, the free Trinity vouchers that Slong Games always gives you. Because very often, Slong Games just, from going into the info page, you can claim rewards that are Trinity vouchers. In fact, today, which is the Langrisser Day, August 19th, it was worth two Trinity Vouchers. This gift here was actually two Trinity Vouchers, as they say here. So Long Games hands out Trinity Vouchers all the time as well. So it's very easy to get 100 Trinity Vouchers every month as a result. And 100 Trinity Vouchers, if you, based on the 2% chance of getting heroes, is likely to give you two SSR heroes right there. So there you go. All the ways you can get Trinity Crystals, which can be converted into Trinity Vouchers. And I'm just going to claim my Arena Rewards for the week. So, there, so I hope you found this information useful. I mean, this really just shows the importance of A, being able to clear, having a team powerful enough to clear timeless trials to the SS level, and B, making sure you participate a bit in Arena, Apex Arena, and World Arena, right? Arena, it shouldn't really be hard. Just get four wins at the gold level, right? Uh, world Arena, you just need five wins. Yeah. I do seven every week to keep myself at the silver and gold level, which takes me roughly two hours per week. 
But if you just want to do five battles and just stay in the top hundred, that should that should be even faster. Maybe an hour and a half each week to stay in I don't know bronze or you know get into bronze one or maybe silver first three or whatever. And yeah, granted Apex is the toughest part, but getting one victory per week for the fifty rewards and maybe trying to just get yourself into even just silver three would be fine. Could get you a hundred Trinity crystals per week here. So yeah, that pretty much concludes my video. So I hope you found this information useful because this game is very, very friendly as long as you're willing to put in some time every week into doing, you know, the daily missions and whatnot. And as long as you do that, you get a good amount of Trinity Crystals every week. So, on that note, Nitro out.